Yes, my people, yes, my people, welcome back to our next one, you know. Yeah, man, you don't know the thing set, you see the title and the thumbnail. It's an spear fishing morning this morning, you know. Yeah, man, so three of us out this morning, me, Karandi, and Kenado out this morning. And you know, we are going to do some spear fishing this morning. Yeah, man, back to the regular location, the most regular location we visit. Yeah, man, so you know, we are going to see what I go on this morning. Hopefully, we can catch something. The sea look good, a little rain did fall this morning. And um, it stopped here now, and the sun come out back. Yeah, man, the sea look real good this morning. So, yeah, God's will, the Almighty will catch something go out and come in back safe all right yeah man so come with us my people yeah man in the meantime you have a look at breakfast in the morning you know me and i want apple cheese so me see few ripe one up inside so me I go up and see if me can find a breakfast because that's the best thing for eat whenever we are going to see you know fruits any fruits best orange apples anything pineapples yeah man the best thing so you know so we can find the man in there, you know. So guys, I found these three. Yeah man, not the best, but totally worth it, you know. So we going out there now, my people. Yeah man, and I say the water nice, you know. The sun no come right out yet. But, you know. We have some blue skies, so little bit cloudy, partly cloudy. Yeah man, so we're going out here. So remember, you know, subscribe if you haven't already come to the community. My first dive of the day and the first fish. This is a nice jack. The spear didn't hit it good, so Karandi dived down to grab it. My second job of the day, this one was random. We were swimming against the current, the current was heading up the sea and it was very strong. But where we were heading to, where we could find a few fish, is down the sea, so we have to fight the current. So here I saw a bony fish, I was wondering if I should take this one, but I made up my mind late. So Kenado saw some grunts right here and he made a job. When he got down, he saw a lovely red belly, so he took the red belly instead.
can see it's a lovely one on his spear. This one was a good size one. A snapper was right here, a large one, but it head off to the deep. water visibility wasn't too bad it was just a little bit sandy so here I heard Karandi shouting and I saw that he's Pira Barracuda the Barracuda was on his spear swimming up and down so I told him to pull it in so we could spear it again I went down halfway and hold the line and pull it in close and Kenada went and gave it a second shot. This is Karandi, second Barracuda and also the biggest one he ever spear. He's real lucky today. <laughs> Can I spear stuck? In the head, it took them a little time to get out the spear. But after, Kenada made a next job and a next barracuda and he managed to spear it. So right here I saw Nick Snapper, a big one, but no chance from this one as well. My inches was very low for the Barracudas. I was more in tune into the Snappers. I was trying hard to catch one because it's been a while since I caught one. This is where Canada speared the big dog teeth Snapper. So I knew that some smaller one live here, so I went to check them out but I saw none. Some barracuda came in close, can had a spear one, so I made the job and the school because it was quite a few of them. Lined up one, took the shot, but the spear only grazed it. I should have sink down a little bit deeper and I would have definitely get that one. So here is the one that Kenada just caught, the nice one.
Karandi showed me a next one, so I made the jab on it. It started to swam away, but the current was too strong, I couldn't follow it to get a shot. About a two pound snapper was right behind this coral, but it seemed like it went into the rock. So we caught a few fish and we're heading up back the sea now, just drifting in the current. So we're doing some random jobs on the way. So on this one I saw a few grunts, but didn't want to fire my spear gun into the rocks. Kenado made a jump on them as well, the same grunts. He didn't take any shot, maybe he didn't want to fire in the rock. This job were for some mutton snapper, but this snapper at this location is very wild. So right here, I came across some chubs at a very deep spot, so I made a job, went down to about 55 feet. What I realize, wherever I see chubs in deep waters, there is always outside jacks around. So I was checking. I saw a few outside jacks, but they were too small. So I didn't bother to go down any further. I meet up back with Kenado, and same time Kenado showed me a shark. The shark was approaching the stringer with the fish, but luckily they were on the buoy. We realized that it was a big tiger shark, so we stood our ground. That was the best thing to do at that time. Once the fish is there, the shark is not going to stop circles, so we have to keep our eyes on him. We watched him for a little time and he disappeared in the blue but I knew that he wasn't gone. Some snappers was swimming with him so I made a jump on one. I took a long shot but I didn't get the snapper. When I surfaced and it back to Kenado. The shark came in real close to Karandi buoy, so we give it a poke, it turned off. The shark wasn't acting aggressive, so all we did is just keep our eyes on it at all times. The shark pectoral fin looked damaged. It seems like it got run over by a boat or something. Even piece of the tail fin is missing as well.
Canado Hall so made a job after one of the snappers because the snappers they were very big but he decided not to take the shot he could have but not taking the shot was a good call and maybe the fish flattering on the spear would have chigged up the shark why I took my shot the shark was far away at that time no, no take your eye off me no take your eye off me that shark could weigh about 400 pounds so we realized that the water was getting a little bit dirty and we could hardly see the shark so we decided to head in cause that's when it's most dangerous when we can't see him. This is in the shallow now and I saw two butterfly fish, two beautiful butterfly fish. Yes my people, so we come out of the water. Yeah man the shark run we out. We have to, we have to, we have to reach it, you know? Big and we. Big. The water does the other way, and you can't see it. Yeah, man, so we come in, you know? We catch a decent catch. Yeah, man, we find a true barracuda. Yeah, man, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys how them see, you know? So, see them here. Yes, my people, see Karandi there. Around the liquor barra mara, big barra too, you know. Yeah, man. First big, yeah. First big barra. Yeah, man. Boy, lucky today. Lucky, lucky, lucky today. Yeah, nice yeah, fish, you know. Nice barra food, boy. Mm -hmm. So, see what go on here, so again, yeah. Yeah, man, and it's large barra, yeah, so. Yeah, and a smaller one. A grunt, yeah, so. I want a gold peel Red belly I'm going say Red belly bang Big Yeah man, this is a look of skin fish you know File fish Yeah man, how you that jack there? This is how I catch All it, all it, all it Catch at me get The one bar of chance when I get I dash away Dash away boy but you know my belly never feel so good at people and I never did my cut go down so deep again. So I have to tap a little distance and take a shot. Because I never eat nothing good this morning. I just see apple man. My belly did kind of gassy, you know? Yeah, man, but I say you go. But you don't know. We get an epic dive out there. Epic, epic dive. The shark, you know? Change the whole. What I say? Change the whole flavor out there. And we out there with a plan for work with him because he float up with some big snapper. snapper. He took a shot after one and you know, a little distance. I never did want to go too close because the shark is a, a circle, a circle. And the main thing is, you know, people, it's the next thing you need to know when you're out in the water. Now, watch not when nobody say about shark. Shark just now go come and attack you like that. That's the one thing come them half of the fish. The barracuda, them don't like the barracuda. Because they come and they hold off of the big barrack and get out of the line. They go to the barrack. So, they don't like the taste of the barrack. They don't know what happened to them and barrack. But, him, him a circle, circle. So, the main thing we have to do is keep your eye on him. Don't take your eye off of him. Never. Yeah, man, never <laughs> end that. Because, we don't work and see if we can catch two I snap of them, but um, what happened? Hey. The water, a little bit, I get a little dirty out there, so we have to lift because the thing is, you know, when the water dirty, we can't see. Yeah, 
after you can see me, after you keep visual and the shark all the while. Because it's not top service, so we are in the area where we have the fish. You understand? And the main thing, we have to keep the gun them load. Not to shoot him down, but to poke him each time he come close, to poke him that's in, in, in move up, you know? So we are going to look clean up, you know? Yeah, man, because the place is getting a little windy. Hopefully, it's not fit the audio because I'm on a mic for the camera. The place is getting a little windy, you know? And it looks like it's raining out too fast. So we are going to clean up the fish, them. yeah, man. And so we are so go and watch them. Yes, my people, so a little rain fall, you know, fall a little bit, and you know, it will finish clean up. So, this are the giant bar right here, next one over there, so, next one right up there, yeah man, yeah man, and see, place kind of clear up back here now, yeah man, you know. Please clear up a little. One can add a little bit of teeth, you know. We finish with clean up, you know, and you know, we hit the road. Yeah, man, so can add a string up, we will help him string up the fish then. We are going to struggle with them go up here you now because I struggle because I be a big fish and we are going up our gears. Now I make two chips. Yeah, the big snapper, where we caught what they are. With that plan, so we are going up on the riverside go do a cook up with that snapper there. Today. Yeah, man. So if the rain allows us, we are going to do so today with that big snapper. There. So we are going to do a separate video. For that, for that cook up, yeah man. But on this video, probably do a cook up same way. So stay tuned, same way. But the big snapper, now do a cook up separate video, alright? Me reach home, everybody reach home, yeah man. So, so when me come home with ya, the small bar and the, the, the one jack over there, so yeah man. So, now cook piece of the bar in the evening, yeah. Yeah man, I want some banana and dumpling and problem, you know, with piece of the barra. Yeah man, so I go cut him up here you now, my mother say I want piece of him. You know that big, I'm about four and a half pound. So I go cut him up and send piece to give my mother. Yeah man, and deal with the other piece. So go and watch what we are doing. So I give it a, a cut up the barracuda and I got a few slices right here. Yeah man, as I say. I go cook about four slices and give me mother the rest. You don't know further down, we go back and see again. Hopefully, we can see them. Yeah, man. Today was a great day. Yeah, man. We enjoy the dive today. Yeah, man. As I said before, the shark bring a whole flavor to the, the dive, a different flavor. Yeah, yeah man. But I you know my first time I encounter shark, you know. So I get some seasoning and. Um, couple slices of this you know and then you don't know the thing set I'm going to put on a fry on the barracudas I'm going to fry them and then cook down you know?
fry these and you have to prepare some gravy now, you know Maracuda I am two finger banana, two slices of bar well brown stew, you know. Yeah, man, so I don't know what the thing is going on. Share up, subscribe. Yeah, man, the next video come to an end, you know. So, NASA links, I say, do see you guys in the next one.